Hi guys, I'm Paula with Farley's Angels of Milwaukee. Today I want to show you how to make a starter. We have an upcoming brew day where we're going to teach everyone how to brew, but I need to make my starter ahead of time. Gather everything that you have in a well prepared, clean area. So I have my container I'm going to make my starter in. I have some star sand sanitizer, aluminum foil, my yeast tubes, and these ones are very outdated, so that's why we're making a starter. I have my dry malt extract of my pot to boil in, a scale so I can measure the correct amount of my dry malt extract, and a couple of containers for adding my water in. Um, I have my stir bar and I have some yeast nutrients. The first step is to figure out our pitching rate and our how much yeast we're going to need. I like the Brewer's Friend online calculator. This calculator is great because it tells me the exact amount of dry malt extract that I need in my starter size to get the right result. So I'm going to bring about half of the water I need to a boil. And as it warms up, I'm going to pour in the dry malt extract carefully so that it doesn't clump. to a boil, I'm going to start to add in my yeast nutrient. Today I'm adding in a quarter of a teaspoon of the Y yeast nutrient and a quarter of a teaspoon of diammonium phosphate. Bring it to a rolling boil for 15 minutes. Be careful to watch it though, it boils over very easily. While it's boiling, make your sanitizer in your fermenting vessel. Make sure to drop in your stir bar and even dunk in those tubes of yeast. Give them a good chance to get clean before we open them. Use your sanitizer to pour over the foil we're gonna put on. Now that our wort is done, we're gonna chill it. Now I saved half of the amount that I need for my starter and I'm adding that as ice water. I use filtered water and ice cubes made from filtered water. Now we're going to take our chilled wort and pour it carefully into our sanitized vessel. Now I've set my fermenting vessel on here and it's at 67.2 degrees. That's the perfect temperature. With clean hands, I'm going to drop in my stir bar. Make sure my yeast is open carefully over top. And then take my sanitized foil and put that on top loosely. Switch it on. And there we go. Our starter is perfect. Okay, so this is our starter about 12 hours later. As you can see, the color of our wort got really, really milky. There's a ton of yeast in suspension, and it actually has a nice croissant going up on top. I will continue with this starter until it finishes and some of the, the yeast actually starts to drop, or I can pitch it at, as it is after my brew day tomorrow. If I wait and decant it, I'll chill it and then pour off the liquid that rests on the top and get just the creamy yeast on the bottom. 